Actico Cohesive Inelastic Compression Therapy works by automatically reacting to your patient's activity levels to effectively manage venous leg ulceration. Actico is a low profile system that allows patients to wear their own footwear, which in turn empowers your patient to continue with everyday routines. The SafeLock system helps you deliver consistently safe, accurate and effective compression levels. And this video shows how to apply Actico Cohesive Inelastic Compression for venous leg ulceration. Prior to applying any compression system, the patient should have a full holistic assessment in order that they receive appropriate compression therapy. Here you can see the use of Debrisoft, which is indicated for hyperkeratosis, wound cleansing and debridement. Please always refer to local guidelines. Measure the ankle circumference before and after the padding layer is applied. Assessing the shape of the limb, ensuring sufficient padding is used to protect vulnerable areas and if necessary, reshape the leg to provide graduated compression. For ankle circumferences less than 18 centimeters, apply enough Flexiband padding to bring the ankle measurement between 18 and 25 centimeters. Measure the ankle, Reshape and protect the limb if necessary by applying flexiband padding. Please position the foot toes to nose when applying the padding. Secure the padding with two turns at the base of the toes and with the figure of eight at the ankle before using a 50% overlap spiral up the leg. Finish the padding two centimeters below the popliteal fossa. Actico has a built-in feature, the Safe Lock system, which delivers a consistently safe, accurate and easy application using the lock and roll method. You need to lock the Actico bandage out at full stretch on the limb and then roll it at full stretch around the leg in a spiral. Actico should be applied at 100% full stretch and always close to the limb with a 50% overlap. Before applying Actico 10cm, check that the foot is correctly positioned, toes to nose, to maximise ankle movement. Hold Actico with tension and apply two turns from the base of the toes. Roll Actico across the dorsum of the foot, keeping tension. An extra turn may be applied in the middle of a long foot. Enclose the ankle and heel with a figure of eight. Start to spiral up the leg using the lock and roll method, 50% overlap and at full stretch. Roll the Actico round the back of the leg whilst ensuring it is locked out at full stretch. Continue with the lock and roll method up the limb in a spiral. Finish the Actico three centimeters below the popliteal fossa. Cut off excess bandage and tape if necessary. Ensure layers are bonded. If the ankle circumference after padding is more than 25 centimeters, an extra Actico layer will need to be applied from the ankle. Apply the second Actico 10 centimeter roll in the opposite direction. Secure with two turns with tension over the ankle and on the third turn, follow the lock and roll method. Ensure the layers are bonded and finish as before. Actico is capable of maintaining pressure without slippage due to the cohesive nature of the bandage. As with all compression bandage systems, training on the correct application is recommended. And if you require any further information before applying Actico Cohesive in Elastic Compression System, then please contact our customer care line.